right, looks like we're on icy road. Somebody is passing a tanker truck. And who's at fault? Let's look at the top. Yeah, it looks like they're coming. Oof. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, tanker truck just tattooed them. So. This is someone trying to pass a tanker truck. You can't see anything. The truck's just huge. So they get around them and then it looks like they tried to get back in front of that tanker truck, not giving the tanker truck much room to slow down. Having a heavier weight and possibly gas in their vehicle, that's gonna make that vehicle a lot harder to stop, a lot slower to accelerate. However, you've gotta give them distance. When you're pulling in front of a big rig like that, you gotta give them distance so that they can get proper following distance and slow down. This person whipped in front of them, and then, to make things worse, there was a tractor up in front of them looking like they were clearing off the snow or something. And so that vehicle had to immediately get in front of that truck, hit its brakes, the truck locked the brakes, lost control, and head on somebody else and did a tremendous amount of damage. We hope they're okay. Arguably, the person who cut that tanker truck is at fault because they required that emergency maneuver in which the tanker truck then had to slam on its brakes because they got in front of them and slammed on their brakes for safety and then lost control because of the elements. So you want to drive a little slower than usual and you want to be careful and be cognizant of other drivers, considerate of other drivers. I know that's not something that's very popular in this day and age, but it's certainly something that may keep you from being injured or hurt. Stay safe.